You got some jack of all trades, you come in there and did some to it. You got a good reading right away. Hello guys, my name is Larry and welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope that today we can pass on some information that might be helpful to you. I know you've came to YouTube to probably resolve a problem that you've had. There's some type of electrical issue in your home. And this, this video here is specifically aiming at working on a receptacle in a wall or a wall plug or a, a plug for a wall receptacle. Uh, we call it many different things in, in different, different parts of the world. Uh, us old farts, we call it a plug. You know, let's fix the plug in the wall. Well, it's actually a receptacle technically. Now let's start off with uh, what we're discussing uh, on the receptacle itself. Now receptacle, this one is 125 volts. It's going to read probably around 118, 119 when we test the live one that we have in the wall currently now here in the office. Uh, and to give you a little insight on it, the area down on the bottom of this looks like a D facing upwards is your ground. Then you're going to have two more little slots right here. One of them is taller than the other one. The one that's the shortest is the live wire. The black wire goes there. That's where your power is coming in. Now this one over here is going to be the white wire. This is a neutral. So don't get these crossed up. It will not pass code if you're building a new home or you put it in reverse. It could possibly cause some issues such as a fire or something different. So keep in mind, the smaller, shorter slot is the live wire or the black. The longer, taller slot is the neutral or the white. And of course down here, the D facing up is going to be your ground. Now, just to shed a little more light on it, if you're not sure what kind of a receptacle you're working on, up here at the top and down to the bottom, the Leviton on the bottom, the brand, and up here it'll say 125 volts and 15 amps. So you know what type of receptacle you're working on. Uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of them out there pretty much standard here in the U.S. Now, also, let's go over these little screws here on the side. I'm gonna, hopefully this video won't blur out on you, but I'm trying to get it as close as possible where you can understand my old fart, farty voice and still get the message over to you in a correct fashion, form, or manner. If we look down here, this wire right here at the bottom, or it's this the screw, I'm sorry, the screw, not the wire, is green in color. Think of it like this. Green is ground. In your 14-2, 12-2 wiring, you're going to have a bare wire in the circuit. It's this one right here, a piece of this that I cut off and brought into the office. This is your ground wire. It's going to be attached to this right here. There's your ground. You got that whipped. Now then, we got a black wire right here. This black wire, how I distinguish between which side this goes to without knowing what this is here, if you don't understand that, you got a brass screw and you got a silver screw. My old way of thinking, the way I've always thought in my old age, even when I was back 14, brass, black, black, brass, black, brass brass black it's going to go to one of these terminals here now don't put one here and then put one over here if you're going to put it here come over here and put it here the other one the white wire here's the white wire now this white wire like i told you earlier you got a brass you got a silver and you got a green let's take this white wire which is the taller of the slots it's going to go to the silver screw. So neutral, silver, white, white wire. If your home is wired properly, that's what you would normally see there is a white wire going on the neutral. Now this may not be the same in every home you see out there, but it should be. That's pretty much standard. Unless you got some jack of all trades to come in there and did some wiring on his own, didn't understand codes and didn't understand colors of wires, he might have your stuff all jacked up. But that's the way it should be. Let me also say, if you're practicing and playing with this stuff here, electricity, if you're not careful enough, you can 
electrocute yourself and you'll be pushing daisies. You won't know for how long, but you'll be pushing them daisies, my friend. So practice safety. Wear gloves. If, you, if you're not real familiar with electricity, wear them gloves. Wear some glasses. Electricity's powerful. It'll knock you on your butt and put you out real quick. Now, the meter. All right. And you got volts and volts on the meter. You got volts here, 200, 600. You got volts over here, 600, 200. AC and DC. Your home is alternating current, which is going to be this side over here. It's going to be the V right here with the little squiggly mark up there on top. On this side here, if you switch this, it would be DC. That's not what the home has. The home has AC, so make sure you got it set with volts, alternating current, the volts with the little squiggly mark up on top. You'll be, it'll, the meter will be set correct for you to check that receptacle the correct way. The other thing you need to make sure, which is very important, right down here, make sure that these probes are in the correct position down here. The black one. There it is. Common. Black is common. Common, common, common. That's kind of like over here. The black wire is common. The white wire is neutral. Common. If you go over here now, this is where the red one's going to go. It tells you right there, and I'm going to try to get it closer. I bet it's going to blur out, but you can probably still see it. You should read something similar to that on your meter. That's where that one needs to go. Now you're all set and ready to go. Next step, go to the receptacle in your wall, and let's talk about how we're going to test that receptacle right now and see if it's good, and if it needs replacing, possibly if it's over voltage, under voltage, or what might the problem be. Let's go check it out. Stick around and let's look for fireworks. All right, we've got this old meter set up over here, and uh, I know it's not probably the perfect environment to be in, but it's what we have to work with today. And I think we can get the message over to you. Now, we've got everything set here correctly. We've got the set over here to AC, alternating current, with the V and the little squiggly mark. We don't want to go over here, like I said, that's DC. Now we got our old trusty probes here, and I'm hoping it doesn't blur out. Man, I got a hard time with these new cameras. It's supposed to autofocus, but it don't like to autofocus sometimes like it should. Let me back it up a little bit here. We made us an old trusty sand out of a box here. All right, we got this thing going now, and uh, what we're going to do is, like I told you earlier, <clears throat> this little plug here looks like they have reset the wall just a little too much. See how the wall plate sticks out further past it? But it's still safe. I can still touch it with my fingers, and it is live. Now, you don't want to do that kind of crap. Uh, hell, I'm old enough where you hit me, I probably hit the devil in the head and come right back. But anyhow, remember what I told you earlier. You got the ground down here, right? This is a ground, that's a ground, that's a ground, and that's a ground. So let's check, uh, let's go here and check the ground first. Now sometimes, you know, these, these little terminals here, this little probe, won't, you gotta kinda work it around to make sure you hit the wall properly. Now let's go over here and check this side. Now this side here should be pretty tight. You may have to move them around. See, I'm not getting anything. Let's go up here and check the top one. See how tough that is? Finding that ground is pretty tough. But you see there, I got 120 volts. Okay, That's going common. I'm not even touching the ground. I'm checking from here to here. I got 120 volts. Now it's really tough to get in here with this probe. You got to kind of hold it at an angle and then try to touch it like that. See, see how I'm kind of pulling this down? Or else you won't get a true reading. It'll bounce around, it'll drop. So you got to make sure you kind of bind that probe up in there and then make sure you pull it to the side just a little bit. There's 121.7. So we're in parameter. That's a good one. Now you can check it across here just like that as well. Move it around, make sure you got a good contact. See how it bounced around a little bit and then it went right to it. Got a good reading right away. 
Now, if you want to check the other one, do the same thing. <clears throat> Make sure you bind that old probe up in there. If you just let it set back, sometimes it may not make a good connection. It may not read at all, but I just got lucky by that time. Do the same thing. Run this to the side. Come over and check that. Move that bottom one around a little bit. You'll see it jump up there because you just got to get that good ground. Now, the other thing you can do is this. We know that this is the, the live one or the common. We know there's going to be voltage here. Now, if you want to check it to the screw, which is grounded to the box, you can do that as well. So you got 121.6. That's on your common. Now, let's do the same thing over here and see what happens. You're going to get nothing because that's neutral. That's your white wire. So, re-school. This side over here. Neutral, this side over here, <coughs> it's common, live, that's ground. Now you continue testing if you want to, but I know what's going to read. See, so look at it, 121. This should read the same thing, 121. Now we're going to put the ground there. We're going to come over here and test that, shouldn't be nothing there. Test this side here, voila, we got 121 volts. Well guys, that concludes the testing of a wall receptacle or plug. Like us old hillbilly caves and people say, uh, I hope I shared some information, enough information that you got something out of it that you hit the like, subscribe button, and give us a thumbs up. We sure need all the help we can get out here on YouTube. And again, we appreciate you taking time to stop in and check this video out. Hope you have a great evening. Tell everybody we said hello and thanks for watching.